Hi, my name is Emma, and today we are going to be looking at three words. Some of these words may be new for you. Usher, insure, and insure. So these three words, they look very similar, but they have different meanings. Okay, so this lesson is first of all going to explain what these three words mean. So this is partially a vocabulary lesson and how not to confuse them. This is actually a common mistake native speakers make. They confuse these three words all the time. So let's get started with the word assure. So assure is an important word because it means to help someone get over anxiety or fear. You really want to assure someone when they're feeling really terrified, anxious. Maybe you have a friend who's about to do an exam. You want to assure her she will do well. Okay? So here we have an example of a doctor, something a doctor might say to you. I assure you, you will feel no pain. So hopefully your doctor tells you that. It means they're trying to help you get over your anxiety. Maybe you're afraid of needles. The doctor might say, I assure you, you'll feel no pain, no discomfort. That's what you want to hear. Okay, so again, assure is to help someone get over anxiety or fear. We use assure specifically with people or with animals. Okay, so you assure someone or you assure an animal. You don't assure a table, you don't assure, assure an object, because you can only help someone get over anxiety or fear. So this is how you remember. The A here stands for something that's alive. You assure something that's alive. Okay, now similar to assure is the word reassure. So we have the keyword assure here. We have the prefix re, which means again. And so you can kind of take a guess what this word means. Reassure means to help someone get over anxiety by assuring them multiple times. So for example, have you ha ever had somebody who you told them, things will be fine, I promise, and they didn't believe you, so then you had to say again, I promise you, don't worry, things will be fine, things will be fine. You are reassuring them because you've had to assure them again and again and again. Okay, so now let's look at insure. So notice the difference in pronunciation. Ah, uh, sure, with an ah uh sound, and in, sure, with a in sound. So insure is to make a promise or a guarantee. Now again, both of these are verbs, but to make a promise or a guarantee. So for example, he insured there would be enough food by ordering extra. Okay, so he's guaranteeing there's going to be enough food for everyone at the party. How is he ensuring this? By ordering extra. How are you going to ensure somebody does well on their exam? Well, you can ensure even yourself that you do well on your exam by studying hard. Okay, you're guaranteeing you will do well by studying hard. Okay, so now let's look at ensure. Finally, we have insure. So it's pronounced the same way as insure. The difference is in the meaning and the spelling. Okay, so here we have I-N. So what does insure mean? Well, it has to do with insurance. When you get insurance on something. So for those of you who don't know what insurance is, it's where, for example, I have a car. I need to pay money every month in order in the event that maybe I have a car accident, a company will cover the cost. So this is insurance. You pay money to a company just in case you have an accident and then the company will cover the cost. So we have different types of insurance. We have house insurance, car insurance, life insurance. We use insure in this sense. So for example, my car is insured for a million dollars. What, did this, what does this mean? If I get into a car accident, my insurance company will pay if, if up to $1 million. So say for instance, if it's a really bad accident, a whole bunch of cars are destroyed and damaged, 
<laughs> Hopefully that wouldn't happen. Um, I'm a good driver. But if that did happen, the insurance company would cover the cost up to a million dollars. Okay, so this is how we use insure. Again, it's also a verb, just like usher and insure. So let's do some practice questions to gather it out. Okay, first one. My sister is worried. I've, her, she will be fine. So take a moment to think about this. Do you think it's assure, insure, or insure? Okay, if you said the verb assured, I've assured her, she will be fine, you're correct. What was the clue here? Well, we have the word worried. So I know my sister is anxious, and I'm telling her things will be okay, things will be fine. So we know it's assure. Okay, example number two. You must, your presentation is less than five minutes. You must, your presentation is less than five minutes. So take a second. Do you think this has to do with fear? Do you think it has to do with um, insurance? Or do you think it has to do with a promise or a guarantee? Well, if you said, Insure, with an E, you're correct. So in this sentence, somebody is saying, you must insure your presentation is less than five minutes. So you must guarantee, you must promise that your presentation is not going to be too long. Okay? So for more examples, for more practice, I hope you visit us at our website, www.ingvid.com. We have a quiz there, so you can practice assure, insure, and insure. Um, I assure you, the quiz will be fun to do, and it will be um, it will be good for you guys to do. I assure you of that. It will ensure that you do well in English for these three words. I can't think of an example to use for insure for this specific example, but come to our, our quiz. All right. So until next time, take care.